So we've got a guy with a gun, a kid with a baseball bat, a pile of vomit on the floor. This is the rally, isn't it? Shit's kicking off, big time. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I've got something that I'm hoping will be really fun for you today. Uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to discuss very briefly um, how not to travel America next release date and why it is when it is, along with Geo Detective and GeoGuessr plans in general uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, but for now, I have no idea how good this is going to be. Uh, someone emailed me or messaged me on Instagram about this, telling me that it was good fun, and it does sound like good fun. It's a game in which you have to guess which year a photograph was taken. So kind of not too dissimilar from Geo Detective, except we're not guessing the location, we're just going for, for, for the year, which I love. I know it's not geography related, but I love things like that. Um, I've done a bit of it on Geo Detective, trying to guess the fashion of people's clothes and things like that. And maybe that's a good point. Maybe we could get into Google Earth or do a bit of research on Google to try and find out the exact year. Yeah, so it won't just be me guessing and then going, oh, it's seven years out. Maybe we can do a bit of detective work to find out, oh, well, this road was built in this year, so it can't be any later than that, and, and so and so and so. Anyway, it is quarter past nine in the morning, as I am being constantly reminded. So let's get cracking. Let's see what this is all about. Wow. Okay, that confused me there because there is a year, so so I can move that around. It's just that 1960s in the in the middle. Is there a time limit here? Not that I can see. Okay. Wow. Pan American Airways system. That is. That looks like everyone is waiting. That looks like a British or some sort of denomination of the British Empire's flag. So this would strike me as a World War II photo. Um, everyone there cheering as an American craft returns, basically. Where does that look like, though? Let's see, this is interesting. This isn't... It's not Britain, and I don't know if it's America either, because it kind of looks European, but I guess it could be, oh wow, this really makes you think. Okay, but we're not guessing the location, are we? We're just guessing the year, so I would have to say, God, this is, sorry, <laughs> you can tell this is the first time I played it. I'm just getting lots of ideas. We've got the name of this this thing here, NC18602. So if we Googled that, it might tell us exactly what it did, where it did it, and give away the answer. Okay, I've had a little think about this, and I wanna set myself some sort of challenge. I wanna get all of them within five years. So if I'm six years out, we've lost, well, I've lost the challenge. On this one, I don't need to Google, I don't think, because this surely would be 19, if I guess 1943, I don't think I can be too far out. He looks pretty British, to be fair. I'm gonna go 1940, Five. That was my instinct, to be honest. So, on this occasion, I'm going to go for it and guess. Oh my god, I've lost already. Why didn't I just go 1943? It was 1939, but they weren't even in the war at that point. Were they? Oh man, that's hilarious. I wanted to go with my gut. But that wasn't strategic. Okay, but you do get points. You get, okay, five, seven, five points and you get five rounds. So it's it's influenced by GeoGuessr, isn't it? I'll tell you what, we'll play a quick game 
where I don't, I definitely don't Google. We just see what score we can get, and then we'll make a judgment. Let's just carry on with this. Right, UNESCO. Oh, look at the cars. Hmm. Right. Firstly, what city is this? God, I there's real potential to get things badly wrong here for me. I think. Um, that seems like a French placard. I don't think it seems British. It's hard to know what make the cars are, what brand they are, because they're so old. They're just unrecognisable. That looks like a Morris Minor, but I don't know. Judging by these cars, I'd say it was the 40s. Um, and I'd say it's in Paris. Judging by the what these guys are wearing, could it be the 50s with these cars? I guess it could. I'm going to say 1948. And that's my quick fire guess. 1955, wow. A little bit later, yeah. Wow, this is a real learning curve. I feel like this is information just going... I reckon if you played this a lot, you'd become really knowledgeable on everything from cars to fashion to just what things looked like back in the day. Um, moving on. Oh my God. Pepsi. Well, it's a color photo. You've got the trucks. I mean, they could be... I don't think they look 60s and I don't think they particularly look... I think it could be early 80s or late 70s, this. But who the hell knows? I'm loving this. <laughs> I'm going to go 1976. No, 1978. 71. Oh, man. Should have kept it the same. Thinking about this, I think Googling... I could just Google a Pepsi van. Uh, in different years and we, we'd get it, wouldn't we? But nonetheless, I still think that would be a fun way to play this game. Is that two different videos? I think I'll make a different video where I Google. Next round. Right, what do we got going on here? Are these, Tur is this Ottoman Empire, Turkish? Is he grabbing his arm? What's going on there? It looks like a... Is he, That's not a handshake. And he looks like a strict guy. I wouldn't want him to be my maths teacher at school. He looks like a right arsehole. He's grabbing him with his glove. I think he's taking his... He's only got one glove, actually. A lot going on in that photo. I think this could be Ottoman Empire. Um, it could be World War One. Gallipoli campaign. Let's go 1915. This could be embarrassing. Oh, wow. That's my best guess yet. 1917, World War One. That's not bad, is it? Eight, four, nine points. I'm guessing you get a thousand points for full, for, for bang on, yeah. Are we recording? Yo, yo, yo. We are? Wow. Um, 2450 is my score. I'll carry on, let's finish this game and then we'll, we'll, we're gonna play another game but I'm gonna set parameters for myself. Oh my God. <clears throat> What would be great is if there was location as well as um, as date. That would be brilliant, wouldn't it? And you've got a time limit. Oh, man, we need to make this. Whoever made this uh, chrono photo, uh, make that game. But make it good. Um, 
Right. This is American football. I believe. Interesting set of goalposts they've got going there. A bit odd that. Is it American football? Yeah, looks like it. I mean, this is especially hard for me not being from America. I think if you were from America, you might have this idea of this kit, this headgear, <clears throat> the whole kit and, and what sort of era it was from. But I really don't know. Um, I'm going to go 1949 and be done with it. 1913. <gasps> Zero points and rightly so. That is... Is it American? That's, that seems like a good quality photo for 1913. But as you guys know, my, my photography knowledge ain't the best. So we have ended on 2450 as a result. Game results. Here it is. 2450 is what we've ended up on today. I would like to play a game in which I get, I think we've got to be looking at score. So for today, because I enjoyed that so much, I am predicting that there will be at least two or three videos with this. So I'm going to try 4,000, 4,000 points. That's what I'm aiming for. I might have really scuppered myself there, but here we go. Oh God. I should have gone 3,500, but it's just, it's, it's just a round number, isn't it? Right. These look Victorian. Don't know what country this is. 3 PM there. Um, It'll probably be 3 p.m. by the time I've done this, actually. Oh. Umbrella, shoes, ladies, not, not showing legs yet. So, 1903. Get in. Get in. It was 1905. Come on. Where was it, though? I'd love to know. Let me know if you know that building there. Um, 849, so if we times that by 5, that would equal 4245. I don't think I'm going to do this. Next one. Oh my goodness me. Now this is what we're talking about. Modern stuff. Right. Oh my god, look at these computers. They're not that old, but it's... Ah... <sighs> Now this could be really hard, and I think you know why. The computers, and the mice, and the, f look at that phone as well. Don't look new. They don't look that new. But, that means nothing, because we're, we could be in any country. And by the look of this, we could be in Africa. By the look of the people. But there are headscarves as well. I mean, this could be Birmingham. Quite, and I don't mean that, you know, in a, in a jokey way. Um, yeah, in less developed countries, or Birmingham, the gear is going to be older. D A S L. This is where it might be fun to use Google, but I'm going to do that in another video, as I keep saying. Um, I've got 2009 in my head, but I don't know how this thing works. Do they try and trick you? Is this 2020? Uh, you know, I'm trying to read any of these folders. I don't know how that would help me. Maybe it would help me decide which country this is. I'm going to go with my gut and go 2009 because if it is 2009 and I change it, I am tempted to change it actually. Look at these headphones. I'm changing it to 2011 and that is it. 2016. 
good grief, it's a good job I changed it to 2011. The bad news is, I don't think there's a cat in hell's chance of me getting 4,000 now. So 3,500 secondary um, target is now what I'm going for. Um, yeah, so it's 2016, but it's in a, a slightly less developing country, I presume. I don't know. Next one. Oh, look at this. Well, that's going to help me. May Day, 1969. Mass rally. It's like a civil rights rally or something. Um, we've got a guy with a gun, a rifle or a, yeah, some sort of rifle. We've got a kid with a baseball bat. Where is this? Federal building, San Francisco. So we've got a guy with a gun, a kid with a baseball bat, a pile of vomit on the floor. This is, this is the rally, isn't it? Shit's kicking off, big time. It seems that they've, you know, whoever's made this, hopefully you're watching, if you could just blur that, that would be amazing because this really would be a great one to try and guess um, if we didn't have that, that date, unless it's a red herring, who knows? But this, I would put this around that time. But yeah, we've got the uh, civil rights rally. I'm gonna go 1969, guys. I'm gonna say that this is that exact day. Well, that's very helpful. It's a bit, bit kind of hollow victory, but very helpful in my quest to get uh, 4,000. So forget, forget what I said about 3,500. Fourth round. We need. We need to be sort of two years off on both, really. So still very unlikely. Now, Lowell Machine Shop. We've got a young girl aged about, oh, I don't know, it's hard to tell. 12? I'm just judging by her, her sort of smooth cheeks, but she could be... I don't know, I find it so hard to tell in historic photos how old people are. You see Victorian kids who are like seven or eight and they've got like man faces because they've just been through so much shit already. Lowell Machine Shop. This has got to be Victorian again. It's got to be. I'm, I'm going to go 1904. Oh, 1909. Okay, I think I was a bit wrong about how many points we needed. We're still in it. We were five years off on that one, but we're still in it. But we have to be one year out. One year out, as Ken Bruce puts it. Um, we have to be one year out on the last one. This is quite exciting. And here we go. Look at this. Guys, don't get too excited. Okay? Behave. This is a beach. Where is it? They're all, everyone's looking, not at the camera, but they all seem to be looking behind the camera, just to the left. What's happened? Uh, have a load of surfing hunks just turned up? No, the guys, some of the guys are looking as well. It's quite odd that. Maybe there's several photographers, because some seem to be looking at this one. This group here are all looking at the camera, but quite a few aren't. Anyway, to the point of the game. Oh God, sorry. I just get caught up in imagining what it would be like to to live in this time. Like, I would. Lo I, I know it's just Back to the Future, but I would love to have a time machine and just go back. Kind of looks like Marty's mom, actually. Just go back and just speak to them. You know, their mannerisms and their sense of humour. Um, just how they were culturally. Would, would they be impressed by you? Would they think you were cool? Or would you be so odd to them that 
you'd just be like a weirdo. I don't know. It'd be one or the other. That's that's the interesting thing. Anyway, uh, I reckon this is 50s. So the guy's haircuts. I'd love to know whether this was Britain or America. It could be Britain. Um, these guys' haircuts, I think they're rock. It's rock and roll. It's conscription army days. It's rock and roll. It's it's motorbikes. Can we be one year out, guys? This is a really great ending to this to this video. Um, what do we do? I'm gonna go 1956, I think, because then if it is 1955, Back to the Future, then we we'll get it. So here we go, 56. 47. <gasps> What? Really? Are you kidding me? That's 1947. And they've all just got their asses out. Amazing. Should have known that these guys had seen some action. Not just conscription, they've seen some Look at it, look at it in this guy's face. He's seen some he's seen some things, man, and some stuff. Wow. I'd love to know where that was taken. Is there any way of any way of knowing? Well, there we go. Game results. That that concludes today's episode. I'm not going to go for the 4,000. I'm going to make this short and snappy for you. But we will most certainly be doing this again. Thank you to the guy who messaged me. I'm terrible at actually finding out who you are. Um, but thank you. I'm sure many of you will be trying this out. Let me know in the comments what you liked and didn't like about this how it could be improved, just in case the maker of this is watching. On the face of it, it seems pretty flawless. Uh, apart from maybe just blurring out the date there would be good. And maybe a bit of info on where it was taken afterwards. But hey, you can't have everything. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, quick word on my upcoming schedule. now. I can now finally reveal to you that one of the main reasons that um, How Not To Travel America release dates have been, have been gradually getting wider and wider, uh, which I hate by the way, uh, is because I've been training for a mission and that mission is going to be carried out this weekend. Um, the reason I haven't been able to say that as of yet is because there are rivals other people who are i know are going to be doing the this same mission around the same time so it's quite stressful it'll make for very entertaining viewing when it does finally get released um but sadly as a result episode six probably won't be with you for another two weeks now uh, it pains me to say i'm sure you'll agree the adventure lovers among you that it's it's one of these things I have to do. As I explained before, um, the plan was to get all of the America stuff edited by this point, but the plan didn't work out. So it's, it's scuppered things. So don't worry, I'm not stressing. I'm just letting you know that that's how it is. Um, and the other thing I wanted to mention is I really, really can't wait to do more things like this, but specifically Geo Detectives. When I get back from this mission, uh, I'm going to really go to town on things like that. So thanks for hearing me out. Thanks for watching as usual. And I'll see you when I get back.